so Bridie, you're only 16 and in two years you've gone from literally being shown a couple of chords on the guitar to record labels trying to get in touch with you the whole time. When did you start writing songs? I used to be in a band called That's What She Said. <laughs> a really bad name and everything. That's I was, what she said. <laughs> yeah. And I think I was like 13, 14 at that time. Mm -hmm. Whenever I had things I couldn't talk about, I just wrote about them. No. like little special boxes almost for me yeah. and um, I never shared them with anybody and then when the whole that's what she said band thing broke up because it was awful <laughs> um, I just went ahead and did my own thing Go before you change your mind. You first started on YouTube videos pretty much yeah like I mean I uploaded a few YouTube videos before I really did anything like with my own music and it was a few covers and I recently went back to look at them and realised I've got a whole pile of views just out of nowhere. And it's strange to like look from all my own EPs that are on iTunes and yeah. stuff to look at me two years ago with a really, really bad, bad camera <laughs> and really bad sound quality just sitting in my room making these songs and stuff. You gotta be sad to realise what you had. The first song I ever got played on radio was called Leaves and it was played on like my radio foil which is in my town and then I submitted that to like BBC Introduce and it got played on BBC Radio 1 and then I just recorded that myself and it wasn't a great recording it like only came through one speaker and stuff like that but um, I suppose people saw potential in it. Sea Creatures people started taking me seriously and they heard that EP, and that yeah. EP's done wonderful things for me. My songs are all about things that have happened, and mm. they're really honest, and they mean a lot to me. I think that's why they mean the people, because people can sort of see parts of themselves yeah. in my songs. Can you tell me who Lancelot is? I wrote my lyrics down in the book so I could read them off whenever I forgot them. Yeah. And that was handy as hell. <laughs> uh, I just have really horrendously bad memory. Okay. Like numbers, I can remember numbers easy, and then it comes to words, and it's like, nah. 2012, what was the highlight for you? I've supported Snow Patrol, I've made friends with Gary Lightbody, I'm co writing with Gary Lightbody, and I mean, I think the biggest shock to me was probably whenever sort of record labels and publishers started to get interested in me mm. and started emailing, and that was a bit scary, but really cool.